Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a combat system. It's going to be very simple, but it should do the job. So let's go to Starter Player. In the Starter Player scripts, we'll add a local script. I'm going to name it Client Combat. Then we'll say local UIS equals game get service user input service and UIS dot input began connect function input oh hold on input comma game process event and then if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot e and not game process event then we're going to say game dot replicated storage you want to go to replicated storage and you want to add a remote event i'm going to name it punch now back to here we'll say dot punch and then fire colon fire server now we're done here now we want to go to our service script service we'll make a script i'm not gonna i'm not gonna name it i'm just gonna leave it blank i want to add a oh actually i'm gonna go to the toolbox and i'm gonna search up punch i already did and I found that's pretty good one. I'm just gonna insert it. I'm gonna close it again. I'm gonna name it punch noise. And then I'm gonna add an animation inside. And I'm gonna insert a rig by going to avatar rig builder. Now I'm going to go to humanoid root part. And then I'm gonna insert a particle emitter. Now here you just do whatever you want with it, make it look good. I already played with it a little bit so let me just get this situated real quick shouldn't take too long so if you want you can just copy my settings this will let me all right now back down here let's do 0.4 40 8 3 60 comma 3 60 17 there you go 3 60 comma 3 60 all right after you have that, you want to disable the enable part. And then you want to drive this into your script. I'm not going to name it anything different. And now I will go into our script and say local rx equals game get service. Get service. No storage, I mean. Local players equals game get service. Rep no players almost a pit storage again duration equals 1.2 local distance equals five local knockback i like to do negative 50,000 to round that at least and then we're saying local function hit and then we're saying player comma character comma damage and then we'll say character comma wait not comma dot humanoid take damage damage then we'll say local i'm just gonna say we have short equal to instance dot new vector force vf dot attachment zero equals character dot humanoid oh and type oh my root part dot root hatch then we're gonna say b f dot force dot and then equals sorry player dot character dot human or the root part dot c frame and then dot look vector times our knockback. back bf dot parent equals character dot primary part then we're gonna say local particle oh i have i got let me delete my old ones real quick and i'm also going yeah it's fine right here and then so particles equals now we're gonna go to make a rig this rig i'm going to Go into our humanoid root part, add a particle emitter, 
I'm gonna uh, make a light mission one. I'm gonna go in the size like this. I'm gonna change this to 0 0.75 and then this to zero. I'll go down till I see lifetime 0 0.4. Make this 40, 360, negative 360. Oh, sorry, hold on. Comma 360. The speed I want to do 17 and negative 360, comma 360. And this is what it would look like. So you want to turn off the enabled, drag this into your script. And now I'm also going to go to our toolbox. And I'm going to find a punch uh, noise. So I found a good one right here. You want to hear it? Oh, you can't hear it. Sorry. It's fine. I'll add this in my script. I'm going to name it punch noise. If I can spell. Now I'm going to close the toolbox because I won't need it. I'm going to add an animation into this. And now I'm going to go back to our script and say script.parent, not parent, script article emitter clone and then particles dot parent not sure what happened but dot parent equals character dot primary part I'm not sure what's happening right now but whatever it's fine particles colon emit 30 local noise equals Script dot punch noise clone and then noise dot parent equals character dot primary part noise dot we're not colon play task dot wait so it comes to a three and then if the f dot parent not equal nil then which not then return in but like then and then the f destroy task that wait one second and we're gonna say if particles dot parent not equal nil then particles destroy and noise destroy now we're done with this now we can go down and say local function punch and then uh, parentheses player and local character equals player dot character or player dot character added. Oh, I didn't say or. I said equals. My bad. And then colon wait. Now we're gonna say local damage. We make do thirty. You can make that whatever you want. Now I'm gonna say if character equals equals nil, then return end. If not character, find first child. Humanoid, then return end. If character dot humanoid dot health equals equal zero, then return end. And then if he bounces brackets player, then return end. Now he bounces bracket player equals two. Now Loki local animation. I'm gonna do Andy for short equals character dot humanoid dot animator and then colon load animation and then I'm gonna say script dot animation and then any play now I'm gonna say any dot keyframe dot keyframe reach connect function keyframe name then say if keyframe name not equal and now this is what you're gonna so i'll show you real quick actually so go to the rig you made and go to animation editor or whatever you want to animate with and then let's say this is my stance and then after like nine seconds or so this is where i want uh the player to be hitting the enemy so i will click this I will right click, rename the keyframe, and I'll do damage. And then you would publish it, and you would just put it in here. I already have an animation, it's not the best, but it'll work. Now I'm going to go down here, and then I'm going to say damage. Again, return end. Now I'm going to say, I think it's uh, 
uh four underscore comma P L R in players. Yeah. Players to low field char equals P L R dot character. And then if char equals equals nil or oh no and P L R equals equals player then continue and and now we're gonna say if parentheses char dot primary part dot position minus character dot primary part dot position dot magnitude is less than or equal to distance then coroutine dot wrap hit and then another parentheses we're gonna say player comma char comma damage then we're gonna say break now we'll go down two ends and we'll say four underscore comma dummy and now i'm gonna locally make three of these so i'm gonna make three dummies and you can make more if you want and i'll just put them right here and i'm gonna right click group as a folder where did that come from whatever i'm gonna name this dummies and now we'll get the script dummy in workspace dot dummies get children do now it's if frenzy dummy dot primary part one second all right primary part dot position minus character dot primary oh what just happened? Whatever. Primary part dot position dot magnitude is less than or equal to distance. Then we're gonna say coroutine wrap wrap hit now player comma dummy comma damage then break. Now we're gonna go down two ends again, and we're gonna say task dot no, no, no dot spawn function and then task got wait duration and then we're gonna say if debounces player then we're gonna say debounces player and then equals nil now we'll go down at the very bottom we'll say rs dot punch dot on server event connect punch and now you can just go to that. So if I do this correctly, this should work. So if I click play, if I walked over, sorry about that, walked over here, E, oh, I just took damage. What was that? All right, so I fixed it. It was just uh, a quick mistake I made in this script right here. I mean, I had this as and, it's supposed to be or. And now if you quit play, and you ran up, it would work with players too, but I don't have any players here. And, uh, I gotta go soon, so I'll just do this real quick. And uh, as you can see, anywhere you push, it goes in that direction. And if you would like to have a d more powerful knockback, you can go up to here and have this change to like negative 70,000. And you just do what you want. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See ya!